Hi guys, still on the subject of wall climbers or wall huggers and ceiling crawlers. I've been watching David Vernon Williamson's video again and at the end of it he does a very simple ceiling crawler that uses a vibrating motor. So I thought I'd have a go at that. I'm going to use slightly different equipment to what he used. I've got a vibrating toothbrush here, uh, some button cells and another thermoplastic plate or polystyrene plate. And I'm going to see if I can make quite a small one that will grip the ceiling. That's the vibrating motor I'm going to use, which is very small, so I've no idea if that's going to be powerful enough, but I'm going to make quite a small crawler. I'm going to cut the centre out of this. Rather than desolder it, I very carefully levered these metal plates out, because they might be useful to, for trying to make contact with the battery. We'll start off with the base of the plate full size and then we'll, if necessary, cut it smaller. If I just push the middle, it actually grips the table. It's created a vacuum underneath straight away. To mount the battery, I'm actually going to leave it in this plastic container and try and slide these metal plates underneath and on top of it to make contact. I'll trim these up a bit. Right, I'll use some double sided tape to stick that straight onto there. Cut some slots in it so I can poke the wires in and a bit of double sided tape to hold the motor on top. See I've trimmed the bits of metal. So you can go under there. And there we go. Very high speed vibrate because these are 3 volt batteries and the motor only runs on a 1.5 volt um, battery normally, so we may burn it out. I need to stick that on there. Yeah, I might use a, a dob of hot glue on there. There's our ceiling crawler already. All I need is a flat ceiling. And if anybody watched the last couple of videos, you'll know that all my ceilings are covered in Artex, so they're not going to work on a smooth surface. And all my walls are uh, knobbly paper, that's the best description I can give, um, embossed paper. So nothing's really smooth. What I'll have to do, is I've just got a bit of cardboard, and I'll... We're looking at the underside of the cardboard. How about if I put some light on it? Does that help? Okay. So I'll switch my little friend on. coloured them in so you can actually see them white on white. Obviously it's not going to climb up the wall because <laughs> it's only sticking to it and vibrating its way down.
it's gripping rather well, isn't it? That's like watching paint dry, isn't it? Or I could make it smaller so it doesn't grip so much. We've got a piece of table here spread across my kitchen worktop so we can get down underneath it well, that's better, that's moving Right, I've trimmed the edge off him, so he's a bit smaller, so he shouldn't grip quite so well. Still gripping really well, isn't it? <laughs> it makes too good a surface. I'm just putting a bit of polystyrene underneath it, or on top of it, to try and reduce the grip. That's better. That's better. I needed to reduce the grip to get it to move. I think we can now call it a success. So that's a ceiling crawler. That's got to be one of the simplest ones I've made. Polystyrene plate, just cut the centre out of it. Vibrating motor out of a toothbrush and a button cell. And there we go. <laughs> Perfect timing.